Hey everyone, it's um, about 2 a.m. and this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm actually heading off somewhere. So I'll see you soon. Let me get ready. We're at the airport, so what's going to be different about this video is actually we're off to Oslo. So the time is, as you can see, 3.52. Uh, yeah. So it's super early and uh, yeah, I'll see you in Oslo. Oslo, Norway, weekend away, one night, two days. My wife, Nicole. The first thing we saw was the Oslo Opera House and the really cool thing about it is that you can actually walk all the way to the top. So we went all the way to the top of the Oslo Opera House roof terrace, the view was beautiful. It was such a shame that I could not see a thing. I can't see a thing. <laughs> After that, we visited Carl Johans Gate, which is the very famous shopping street. And then we had some coffee, some very expensive coffee. And then we explored further around in the city. And it was just a very, very nice and sunny day with a bunch of colorful buildings. We had a quick subway for lunch, the most expensive subway we've ever had in our lives and then cracked on with our day. Botanical gardens, rock garden, palm house. Oh, they have a rock garden. Yeah, we'll go check out the rock garden. We did not go check out the rock garden, but we did see a bunch of the botanical gardens and it was just a beautiful place to be. Very nice weather, very warm. My thoughts on Oslo so far. Super clean, super nice, mega expensive. On the upside, the weather today is brilliant. I don't know if you can see behind me, it's super sunny. So it's a great day to be out. But if you ever want to come to Norway, be prepared to pay for things because things are very, very expensive. Nicole is big into bird watching and we saw this bird. We weren't quite sure about what kind of bird it is. So this is my terrible attempt at trying to capture this bird. We're uh, off to eat some famous waffles. Harald's, Harald's waffle. I'm pretty sure I butchered this, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. This place is really, really famous because wherever we searched online, people said that we should check out this waffle place. So we decided to get the classic waffle, which is sweet. And we also got a savory waffle, which had ketchup, mustard, onions, and a sausage. And to be honest, I preferred the savory one a lot more than the sweet one. So we would highly recommend you check out this place. Every place we visit, we like to get a little thing, usually a sticker or some sort of thing like that, not a magnet. So this time we decided to get an Oslo sign. We also found this pretty cool street with shoes hanging from the top. And we did some further exploring in the city, walked around and just enjoyed the weather and the city itself. We found a cool place, a very nice bridge behind me. And just in case um, my career in finance doesn't work out, Maybe I can go. I'll work for Deloitte. Maybe I can do some consulting here. For dinner, and I won't be proud of this, but we had 7-Eleven burgers because it's the only thing we could really afford. On day two, the main thing we wanted to see was the Munch Museum, so we went to the exhibition. I really like the building itself. It's a beautiful building. I don't know much about art and paintings and drawings, but Nicole knows a lot. So I just followed her lead. I looked around, saw a bunch of cool things. Some of the art, I would say, was quite questionable, but there were tons of things I really enjoyed. And I think it's nice to see new things and try new experiences. I managed to even see two out of the three original screams, which I thought was really, really cool. Overall, we had a great time at the Munch Museum and the view from the top is amazing. We then headed off to the pier, which is called Aker Brigge, and that we also saw a pretty cool astronaut. We walked around the pier, looked around, and this was the last destination before we caught our bus, the express bus, back to Torp Airport. And just by the way, for anyone traveling to Oslo, Oslo has two airports, the main one and then the Torp one, which is much further away than you would think. On the flight, Ryanair actually randomly assigned me the extra legroom seat, which is great because this is Ryanair first class. 